Hi, I'm Zen, and I'm a financial analyst working for Altistrat. Now, I'm relocating to a Tokyo office today. Luckily, while I was on my flight to Tokyo, my corporate emails, powered by Gmail, were synchronized and taken offline, so I could work on my emails during my flight. I've just arrived at the Tokyo office, and I see I've received an email from shirazuki san our HR head. Hello, Zen. Welcome to Tokyo, and here's a few of your new joiner tasks. So first up is adding this to my task list. So I'll just click more actions and then add this task and it's automatically added to my task list with the option of including a deadline date and attaching the related email. Now I need to contact shirazuki san He is my Japanese facilitator. He doesn't speak a word of English so I'm gonna have to get some help from the auto translate feature in Google Chat. All I need to do is invite an English and a Japanese translation bot to help us out. Let's see. Hello. And shirazuki san can see my response in Japanese, which he can understand. Now I need to watch a training video, which is on our corporate video infrastructure powered by YouTube. It's great because it's secured from the public, so only users in Altistrat can see it. Just like YouTube, I can rate it, I can leave comments for the other employees at Altistrat. Right, I need to contact Laura in our London headquarters. Now instead of calling Laura using a telephone, I could call her with the voice call in Google Chat. But instead, I think I'll take it up a notch and I'll video chat. Hey Laura! Hey Zan! How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm safely in Japan. Great! I'll let you know how the project goes, okay? Thanks, bye! Right, cheers, bye! So next. I've got to submit my new Japanese business card for printing, so I'll just do a search for it. I know it's an attachment, so I can narrow the search down. Hey, there it is, my business card. I've already tagged this email using the labels feature in Gmail, which I can add and change at any time. I'll look at my urgent folder, and I see there's an email with travel advice for Tokyo from HR. Now, I don't need any clients like Adobe or Microsoft Word installed because Gmail will literally stream the document to my browser. So now I need to sign up to my team meetings and schedule a one-on-one -on -one with the local head of operations, who is my new manager. So in my corporate calendar, our administrator has already provisioned the team calendar to my calendar so I can see when we have team meetings. I'll just copy the team meeting to my calendar and hey, I also set up a free SMS alert to notify me of this meeting 10 minutes before every time this meeting occurs. Right, so now I'll schedule my one-on-one -on -one with my manager. I think I'll also set up some drinks for tomorrow at 7 p.m. in Tokyo using the quick ad feature. Hey, the calendar understands exactly what I'm scheduling and embeds a Google map to the calendar so I can see where I'm going. So Laura has sent me an Excel spreadsheet for a project we're working on, which can view in my browser without needing Excel installed. Or I can just download it locally. But because I do want to collaborate on this document, I'm going to convert it to a Google spreadsheet. I can do some simple formatting changes to do a bit of cleanup. Classically, to do this market research, I'd have to send this document to multiple people and they'd have to send back multiple versions and I'd have to consolidate. Instead, I think I'll create a form on top of the spreadsheet and email it to all of the analysts. If the person I'm inviting is outside of my domain, I'll get a warning to notify me. The analysts receive it in their inbox and enter the data directly in the email, and this information is entered in real time in my own spreadsheet. I'm going to invite shirazuki san to collaborate on the spreadsheet with me. I can see who has access to the documents at any stage and I can also change their access rights. shirazuki son receives an email inviting him to collaborate with me. Right away we start chatting. He can edit fields and he can monitor how the stock market is doing so he can see real-time stock information right in the spreadsheet and pivot the values off from it. Now at the moment I know our senior executive is really interested in the average number so I could create a graph, but instead I'm going to create a gadget. I'll add this gauge gadget to my spreadsheet which will track my value 
and then publish this gadget to our iGoogle page for the company. So you see when my manager logs in, he'll see this gadget update in real time as the values change in the spreadsheet. So this is complete 360 data intelligence from real-time data gathering, collaborative analysis, and then publishing the data as business intelligence. The team has been working on a more complex analysis of the market performance in America, and they can help me decide what to do in Japan. I can use different visualization styles to display the data with rich gadgets from Google for financial analysis just like this. I can even track over time what the performance is in different areas. Now as a financial analyst, I like working with pivot charts. So I can filter the data to show me the region, and I can also group different values together so I can look at the region and the average numbers for the subprime loans. Now I need to work with my team on a collaborative site. This is a rich collaboration portal powered by Google Sites where we can store and share information on our team project. The analysis that we've worked on so far is already in the site and I can just add my recent work in a dashboard. I can quickly insert the spreadsheet that we've been working on. There, so now everyone can see the results from our analysis.